I don't know. A24 has a new movie thing. It's called The Front Room, starring Brandy. Oh, I, like, I don't even, let's do it. Let's talk about this. Before I put this old yeller out to pasture, if you wouldn't mind hitting the subscribe button, I would appreciate it. I post movie commentary, reviews, rants, live streams every single week. Would love to have you stick around. You know, love them or hate them, you just don't know what you're gonna get with A24, and that's what I appreciate. You could have a movie that's kinda by the numbers, but then completely go off the rails in the last act. You could have a movie that's completely insane from beginning to end. Or in this case, you could have The Front Room. A movie that's just kind of all over the fucking place, and I don't really know why it exists. Belinda and Norman are parents-to-be. That's exciting. First kids on the way, bun in the oven. Belinda's unsure if she's gonna be a fit mom, a good parent. Norman, her loving, doofus husband, says, you'll be just great, kid. Stay the course! But it's not all flowers and rose petals over at their house that they can somehow afford. It looks like it would cost a lot of money, especially in Massachusetts, where I believe this takes place. He's a court-appointed attorney, and she's a substitute teacher at a college, so they're not making, like, buka bucks. Oh, and also she quit. So actually, they don't have a second income. Which is going to be a problem when you're bringing yet another mouth to feed into the household. Thankfully, Norman's estranged mother, Solange, is back in the picture. And that's really what the focus of this film's going to be on, Solange. She's no spring chicken, okay? She's been around for quite a long time. She's got these giant poles that she, she smashes around with like the Hulk. Kish! 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 Sometimes that's exactly how it sounds because they had a field day with the sound effects here. Solange smash! How do I put it gently? Solange is a bitch. She's a control freak. Norman got away from her and his dad, who's now dead, long ago. And he doesn't mention her ever. Which is kind of a shock to Belinda. She didn't really know the history of her husband and his mother. But she's soon gonna find out all about it, because Solange is moving in! And they got a beautiful room for her right at the front of the house. Which is an odd choice, considering there's two bedrooms upstairs, they have a kid on the way, and they decided the best place to put the baby is at the front of the house, downstairs. Now, as a parent of two myself, I can tell you, going up and down the stairs at all hours of the night to a crying baby who's constantly needing to feed and burp and shit and do all sorts of stuff, not ideal! Not ideal. If the baby can be right next to you, that's perfect. No, but they're gonna tell the mom right out of the gates that she's going to be upstairs in the bedroom by them. So she's gonna have to pound her janky ass legs up these stairs with these walking devices and down again. She naturally declines. But that kind of parental instinct, that kind of disgusting attitude towards the elderly is why I don't really care for the two leads in this film. So right out of the gates, I'm Team Solange. Don't worry, that'll change as the film goes on. I'm not gonna give you much more of the plot outside of here's what to expect from a movie like this. A lot of stupid character decisions and also a pretty shitty husband who's gonna do everything he can to avoid his mom and make his pregnant wife clean up after her messes. And when I say messes, <laughs> I mean M-E-double-S mess. She keeps saying that in the film. M-E-S-S, M-E-double-S-S, mess, mess. And you know you're in for a real treat when she yells that out because that camera's gonna jump right down into that toilet bowl and show you all the shit she left around it. That camera's really gonna frame up a nice puddle of pee on the bed. And this isn't a one-time occurrence. You can expect to see poop smeared across the walls, you can expect crap spackled on the side of our girl Brandy. The baby at one point is going to be resting right into it. That's just good parenting. We get some tasteful old lady naked bath scenes. This is elevated horror. This is horror on a different level. Not like, ooh, it's scary. More like, ugh, God, why? Why do I have to? I don't want to see this. Ugh. This isn't pleasant. And I know that's the point, but also, I don't want to watch it. I can forgive the gross out stuff if the story's compelling or goes anywhere interesting. It's, this doesn't. This doesn't. This brings up a lot of concepts. There's symbolism, of course. There's foreshadows. But none of them amount to a hill of beans at the end of the day. Like Solange is super religious. That's her thing. She has her Jesus fish cross on. She's speaking in tongues. She can kind of see into the past and the future. 
for some reason the power of Christ compels her or something, but it doesn't go anywhere. Oh yeah, she's also a raging racist, which is going to lead to some social commentary, some back and forth dialogue, and it's all kind of woven together in this tapestry of literal shit. This is not a good film to bring a first date on is what I'm getting at. This isn't a good film to watch with a date full stop. Now, this isn't even a good movie to watch full stop. What am I doing? Just this is one of those A24 movies in spirit only. I found myself laughing at times I didn't think I was supposed to laugh. I actually found it very funny. It's like a dark comedy almost, but I don't think that was the intention. And if it was the intention, then it still kind of misses because I'm laughing at the film, not along with it. To the film's credit, Catherine Hunter gives a really good performance as Solange. It's, it's a fun character. I didn't find her to be scary or disturbing. I just thought she was silly. <laughs> so if that was the intent, then, you know, like, well done. <laughs> I haven't seen Brandy in like a million years in anything. She's still I'm fine. I never really thought Brandy was anything great. She's serviceable here. Doesn't give a bad performance by any means. Just a lot of looking confused, puzzled, bewildered, dumbfounded kerfuzzled. I think that last one's a made-up word, but that's okay. And the husband Norman is just kind of there. He comes and goes whenever he pleases, never really lifting a hand, which is always fun to watch from a husband in a film. Just kind of a sad sack of shit. So the overall impression was not good for the front door. This is one of the A24 movies I put in this pile over here, the don't ever watch or think about again, as opposed to the one over here, which is equally as large for me now. They're very hit and miss. Which means this might be up your alley. If you're looking for something that is at least different, trying to shock you and scare you in a completely different way, making a mess of things, this might be a film that you'll like. I just found it to be very comically dumb with a pretty implausible situation and some ideas that aren't fully fleshed out or go anywhere captivating. Those are my thoughts, so let me know in the comments, did you waste your time watching this, or maybe you loved it, so it wasn't a waste of time? Let me know, please, like the video, think about subscribing, if you haven't, I post movie content every week, would love to have you stick around. I have a second channel, it's newer, Adam Does Rants, I'm doing this over there, but I'm ranting about first world basic problems, hoping to make you laugh. And if you love what I'm doing, maybe leave a super thanks on this video, or become a patron at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies. For just one dollar even, you get access to 300 exclusive videos. And I can assure you, there's some gems in there. Alright, hopefully I see you next time. Take care.